world is going on in the world. Some stuff. Lots of stuff. I've been noticing on, on Facebook lately, I know some of you have uh, sworn off Facebook, but some of you are still playing that. And I've noticed that there are posts about end of the world. There's posts about apocalypse bingo. And I, I was thinking, gee, are we doing 2020 again? Because that was the kind of stuff coming up then. And there's a whole lot of people going through changes on a personal level. It's not just what's going on in the world. It seems like everybody's feeling this change thing going on. And, um, or they have friends or family that are going through stuff. So there's, there's a thing happening. And it, it, it can feel a little challenging. Maybe a lot challenging. Okay. Da, 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 da. So we're going to be looking yeah. this morning at, at maybe some of the ways we can da, 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 da. deal with okay. that okay. in a, yeah, in a simple that way. Okay. Cool. Back in um, early 2020, there was this thing in the news called COVID-19. There were stories of people in China being sick. Is my mic? Oh, there we go. There were stories of people in China being oh. okay. Hello? Okay. okay, so there were stories then of, of this virus in China. There were stories of quarantine cruise ships with people stuck on them. There were starting to be stories of people in San Francisco and, and they were getting sick and quarantined. And um, it was something that, that um, one of the practices for Daniel and I was to watch the news, not dwell on the news, but to be aware of what was going on in, in the world. And another practice besides looking outside is looking inside. So it's being aware of what's going on out there and being aware what's going on in here because life is happening in both places. It's happening everywhere. It's happening here. And so paying attention to what's going on in here, we noticed we were getting a nudge to prepare, that this looked like something that might grow. This looked like something that might get bigger. So we went shopping, and we stocked up on toilet paper. <laughs> and we got some rubbing alcohol, and we got some antiseptic, and we got soap, and we got the things that tend to go away in this kind of a thing. And we went to the store manager, and we said, have you heard of this COVID thing? And he said, no. We said, well, you might want to check on that, and you might want to stock up on these things that we're getting. So he said he'd look into it, and I hope he did. And so, a week or two later, we were watching on the news that toilet paper was running out and, and other things. And so we didn't share that experience that some of you might have had. And, and I can only imagine the awkward accommodations that might have been made to, to adapt to that. Um, and I didn't share that experience. And it, this wasn't because of our amazing psychic abilities. It was just from paying attention. It was just from watching out there and in here and listening. Listening to what my body's telling me, listening to the nudging of spirit and just being willing to listen and adapt as things shifted. And then a few weeks ago, there was news of a port strike coming. 
And when I heard about that, that it might happen, my first thought, I better stock up on toilet paper. Because <laughs> that's what you do, right? When anything's coming, boy, we learned. That's what you do. But when I checked inside, I got a sense of, no, you're good. I thought that was odd because I didn't, I didn't want to run out. But I had, I had plenty, so maybe it would be OK. And then I heard the port strike happened. And I heard that people were stocking up on toilet paper. And then the strike didn't last long. And I also read a funny story that it was like, I don't know what you people are doing. Most of the toilet paper is made in the United States. It wasn't going to be an issue at all. So anyone that was planning to cash in on that and bought a warehouse full of toilet paper, well, they, they have a warehouse full of toilet paper now. So listening to what's out there and what's in here, that's part of the process. Our, our theme this season is dancing with life. So we're trying to dance with this, this partner, and it, it, it can feel like it's stepping on our toes lately. And some of us learn in, in unity about manifestation, and, and I want to make some prosperity, and my ideal job, and, and my dream home, and my, my perfect relationship, and I'm visioning that, and I'm trying to have positive thoughts. and then. What's this stuff going on that's like stepping on my toes? Shouldn't it be like bending to my will or something? Well, maybe it doesn't completely work that way. There's a context that we're living on in, a larger context. There's our personal context, and there's a bigger context. And life is all of that. So if I really like, I don't know a lot about dancing, but, but I know some names of dances. So there, that's a start. So if I'm somebody that really likes a foxtrot, and I'm insisting on, boy, I'm going to dance a foxtrot, and the music that's playing is a gentle waltz, and I try to dance that, whether I'm leading or following, it's going to be really awkward. Or let's say I really like the cha-cha. That was a, that's a thing for me. And Pink Floyd is playing. <laughs> I mean, you know, we could try to dance that, but it would look pretty silly. And, and stepping on toes would happen. So it's important to listen for when the music's changing. You know, what is playing? And, and is it? Is it changing? And then there's the music that's playing here, and the music's playing there, and, and shifting to go along with what you need to be dancing to. Because life is in sync with the music that's playing. Life is one with the music that is playing. So it doesn't have a problem with playing with, with dancing to the right song. So if we want to be in sync, we need to be dancing to the music that's playing. Otherwise, stepping on toes is going to happen. So with all that's going on out there, if we are paying attention to it, it can feel overwhelming sometimes. And we want to feel centered. And we feel anxious. We want to feel peace. And something to be aware of is when you're looking at, at scary stuff happening on the news, your, your brain is seeing as if you were looking out the window. And it's right there. It doesn't know the difference. If you're seeing explosions or, or, or floods and homes destroyed, it's right out your window as far as it knows. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna make some 
anxiety. So if you're tuned into that channel out there, the music that's playing the hurricane song, you need to take conscious action to shift songs to where you're at. We just sang what you need is here. We need to shift to the music playing here so that we can dance along with life here. So a simple, simple way to, to deal with this that you can use in dealing with noticing disasters and, and in other areas of life is three things. Taking action, praying, and walking away. So action, pray, walk away. And when I say action, I'm talking about looking outside and looking inside, not just going in and doing stuff. So for an example, I'm seeing a hurricane approaching Florida, a major hurricane on the news. And that looks pretty scary. So I'm going to check inside for a minute. What action is mine to take to prepare for that hurricane in Central Oregon? Um, maybe not so much. Am I called to do something about it? Am I called to help? We heard a, a story of someone that was. So maybe their call to action is pack a suitcase because you're going to be going somewhere soon and helping. Let's say there's no action for me to take. I'm not getting any sense there's anything for me to do as it approaches or even as it lands. Nothing to do. Okay, the next thing is pray. Am I called to pray about this? Is that mine to do? And if it is yours to do, please do it. And the next thing is walk away. Action, pray, walk away. So it wasn't mine to do anything, wasn't mine to pray about it. I need to let it go. I need to shift channels on the music station here back to here and now. And notice, wow, what a beautiful day it is out there. And notice, there's beautiful people here to be with. And notice, there's friends, family, food. That's what life is giving here now. And I need to enjoy and cherish every moment of that and fill up my, my bank of, of smiles and hugs and all of that. Well, I can do that. So another example, there's a war happening. I mean, there's several, but watching the, the one in the Middle East that seems to be expanding. And there's might be chatter in my head, our friend Monkey Mind saying, Oh my gosh, World War III is coming. I mean, there's people talking about that. I might feel some anxiety. So first know that monkey mind is not your enemy. Anxiety is not your enemy. It's your body trying to let you know and your mind trying to let you know that there's possible danger here. It's asking rational mind, please pay attention and look at this and, and find out if there's a thing to do here. Okay, so there's a war going on. It's scary, especially if I start thinking about what it could become. What is mine to do right now about that? Um, I don't know. Well, let's say monkey mind keeps going, and whoa, but what about if World War III is happening? Okay, let's, let's pause for a moment. What if it was? Is there something I could do to prepare for that, really? 
I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I'm not called to do anything about it. Maybe you are. So no, I'm, I'm taking that off my list. So I, I can't find anything to do with that. So I'm gonna, am I called to pray about it? Maybe I'm called to pray for peace. And if I am, I need to do that. Because that's, that's my job if I'm called to do that. I need to take the time and do that. And if neither of those, action, pray, walk away. I need to shift gears from the blow up the world channel and that song to here and now. And oh, what a beautiful day. And oh, lovely people. Or if I'm at home, oh wow, I'm safe at home. Imagine that. I'm not, the world's not blowing up here. And maybe I could look out my window and see the trees or, or whatever I, I can or go visit someplace that makes me feel that and know that I'm safe and everything's okay here and now. And if I have trouble walking away from any of these things, I can't let it go, something keeps just nagging me, go back to take action. Make sure there's nothing I need to do. So maybe for the hurricane, it's nudging me to check my emergency kit or a bug out bag. <laughs> and maybe nothing helps. Maybe I need therapy. Maybe some old things getting triggered by this and I need to talk to somebody. Or maybe I need prayers from somebody else. And you do your best to address that and then walk away. You need to dance to the music that's here. That's what's playing for you. There's an election coming up. There's all kinds of scary things that could happen with that. I mean, we, could, we could go off on what, there's a movie about the Civil War, right? I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? But that's not what's playing here and now, all of those things. So there's actions you can take, you can vote. Maybe you're called to campaign, maybe you're called to protest. You can do those things. You can pray that all comes out well. But then walk away, because there's birds singing outside. And, and you're missing that if you're staying on this, this song. In a few weeks from now, we're going to start a new Wednesday night service. And it, it's going to be to deepen spiritual experience and practice. And we're going to have different facilitators each time. Uh, I'm going to be one of them. And Beth's going to be one of them, and Sarah. And we might have other people. And there's going to be a different thing that happens each time. And we'll try to keep you posted on what that is. But hopefully it will help you to add to your spiritual tools and resources and, and, and help that bank get filled so that you have some extra in case of of any turbulence in your life. So remember these three steps, action, pray, walk away. You can apply it in all kinds of, of situations. And pay attention to what song is playing. And if you shift from where you are and you're listening to other music and you're touched by it, you know, you do these steps but make sure that you switch the channel back to the music playing here and now. Because that's, that's where life is meeting you and wanting to dance with you on that song. And you can choose to get stuck watching the news all the time or watching these videos that are scary 
And bottom line, they're trying to scare you into buying a product. So you can get stuck trying to dance to the soundtrack of a horror movie. I, I don't even know how you dance to that. Or, or you can listen to the music where you are, which might be playing a swing or some silly community dance like the Macarena. <laughs> I know that's way back, but, but, but hey. So, so let's have fun dancing together today, and let's let's listen for the what life is is playing on our our channel here and now. And I love you all. Thank you.